Okay, today we are debugging some code that I am trying to get working for Excalibur Morgana's Revenge. That's right. Perhaps the nerdiest sounding marathon scenario. We have an init function that can tell us what music to be playing. It can tell from our difficulty how long a fire length is. And if we are not restoring a save, it's removing the wand from our inventory. Uh, I need to check quickly uh, over here. We're on level uh, 17, uh, 16. So it should not have music playing. You should load these scripts at MML 603. Uh, and yeah, it appears to not play a sound at the start. Oh no, it does. It plays sounds 175. I really should look up that elsewhere to work out. Oh, I'll, I'll do it later to work out if it's playing the right sound. We'll see. So, we have a dodgy working timer color function, which has game-changing side effects. That's a great idea. Idle loop. Uh, if you're restoring a saved and you haven't done a restore check, remove fire and then restore check done. So what this says to me is if you've in this level there is a fire staff and when you shoot it it spawns fire but if you've saved whilst fire was spawned to avoid bugs or whatever loading saves will despawn those fires that's fine that is how the original code was uh, I can find the original code somewhere here 2016 Always weird when it looks like a year name. This is what the original code looks like. You have a pre idle, it's, it's different. Restoring saved has been set to init. Restoring saved, that's fine. It's checked on the idle loop, which is interesting. I've done a direct translation of this. I haven't. I would. I, I mean, I've moved this check to the restoring the, uh, the init function, but fine. It's a direct translation. Uh, so instead of get player polygon zero, what we do is. God, I lost my bearings completely. Player poly is player zero polygon index. It's that sort of thing. Every time we ask the game for a thing, it's changed. See so here. Player poly. Uh, where am I? Where's an example? Set overlay text, zero enemies left, something, something, whatever. That happens with spaces, which is good. Set overlay text, yeah. And it's just says enemies left. And the color is red, because, well, ideally, well, I say red, yeah. It, whatever it was here, with side effects, as I say. Anyway, that's the sort of thing I'm dealing with. If anyone is interested, let's go see what is up. So, I'm trying to get the fire, the fire weapon working. There is a fire length, which is based on your um, game difficulty. The fire length seems to work. It's shorter for the higher difficulty. Fine. Fire timers is a different story. I don't know if I can get this working. So it starts as an empty table. So if you have a number of fire spells, while you're between one and the number, does that include the number less than or equal to? No, if you only have one, it wouldn't do anything. Interesting. It may only, it may always leave one remaining then. Anyway, if you had one, then come in and reduce, basically reduce every timer 
by one. If you've reached zero, or less than zero somehow, then kill the fire that is in the corresponding fire spells collection, table, whatever, and then remove. It's weird that it kills it and then removes it. I guess a dead, a dead monster still has a pointer that you need to remove. I don't know. I'm learning a lot. You remove the timer. Good, because the timer's now a negative number. And then I'm printing fire removed. And then how many spells left? Then we decrement the int, we decrement the count, and then we increment the count. Yeah, it's not confusing at all. And then I'm displaying the length and the first fire timer. Fire timer's I. Whatever the first fire timer is, while I'm here, actually, it's so every idle loop I'm doing this. And if this wasn't anything, because it was empty, it's zero. I'm imagining it was always zero. Uh, it was, uh, this was always nil, so this is always zero. Last time I debugged this, that was the problem. Triggers pro uh, this was another thing that wasn't working. Nothing was happening on Detonate because this is new school lure for LF1 as opposed to what happened over here which was predictable detonated. that's no longer a thing this was not called so yeah I'm saying if the type was fire spray I want to say a fire was spawned number of spells what it does is it spawns a new monster at the coordinate it's a fire monster on that other one and it's active and then you add it to the spells So you start off a new timer at the same index, in theory at the same index. I can see that easily messing up, but in theory these two always have the same index because you've uh, removed it at the same time. Maybe not easily messing up, I, I, I imagine the idle loop runs and completes before a trigger detonated runs. Speculation is fun. So you put the monster in the fire spells table and you put a new timer of the full length here of whatever your difficulty is. Uh, let's come back. There you go. Uh, yeah, and then that will start decrementing with the rest of them. And maybe be suffocated, maybe removed, whatever. Let's see it. Let's open up. Uh, uh, so I'm using a version of the Japanese translated version of this. It was rife with bugs and I can't just use its code. Um, it has somewhat translated to this format with the, as I say, you know, like overlays text instead of, you know, the equivalent on, you know, overlay text. Like, that's not a thing anymore. This is now what you do. So they've done a lot of that in their translation, but they also um, kind of haven't, there's a lot of bugs with it. And their version has lots of wrong MML and sounds and sprites and things to show up, right? This, I'm hoping to, oops, I have to, I'm hoping to fix all of that. Yeah. Level we're on is 17, see the progress. That was a sound. Okay, if I link this line, the timer is zero. So I know that this polygon here turns your sound off. As we saw here, it was a music off poly. It is one of these polygons. So that is the level of things I'm having to check whilst doing this. Uh, yeah. So this tag, once we finish this, it enables the enemies left 
scenario everything taken into account this is working right so this is flashing the, the uh, radar is flashing whilst it's in danger danger radius which is good that's something I that was not working this whole radar was working uh, even the translation of the code they like I feel like in theory That's a different sound for sure. Why was there a different sound? So that works. Fine. I'm gonna be quick now. I'm not gonna hang around. I wanna see that firestorm's behavior. There was definitely a different sound at the start. It was was going down. Maybe my This one looks pretty good then. Uh, I'm all die. I'm out of arrows. I can print out changes on my difficulty level, which if I put up to champion, seems perilous. Different sound. That is weird. But anyway, 600 is the final uh, I have to start this actually. I wonder if it's noticeable. So it should be at two thirds of the length of the fire. Let's go see if it does that. I'll have to look at the video to see if it actually does that. I can't count. It looks like each of the fires does have a. Okay, so they're not visible. So the fire, whilst it's there, it does have its damaging behavior. But it's not always visible. Only a few of them seem to have it. Fire removed. That was much shorter? I'll have to check. I think that was shorter. Ah! There we go. The end. Well, that was fun. I think the level's working properly. Uh, I'll have to remove my debugging rubbish. But I think it's working. 
working about right. Nice. That's basically what's involved in what I'm doing. Comparing old and new. There's a. I can do. Um, I can do a direct comparison. Select compare. 2016. Where are you? And I can see in a direct diff. Uh, yeah. Kim level was done this way. It is now done this way. Yeah, not much to say. It's there's a lot. There's a there's a decently sized diff, as you can see. Uh, yeah, the main thing here was giving the detonated and the Z, the type being active rather than monster activate. Yeah, and it's working. So it looks like it's working anyway to my standards. I, uh, I guess I can type this in the end. I've been comparing it to the original EMR that I have. Yeah. This is a... Uh, I don't know if you can see an about for the Anif 1. But if you look at this version of Anif 1, uh, it's the um, super old version. If I go to the preferences... That's the environment preferences. It's like V1 LF1. So if I come to a level we are doing. That's the sound that should be. I need to fix that still. I think it's still a stolen tumor really sound. This is still stolen um, the shining music. So I don't know why I'm holding off on license permissions to publish this because it contains a whole bunch of stolen stuff. This is what I'm comparing to, I forget what the point is. 87 enemies, probably a kind of right. So I have a staff. this I mean, they kill the player I mean, I think they do. But the ones that are flickering do. yeah I've got the same behavior it seems kind of dodgy but it's the same behavior so it only seems to work if they're Every single projectile detonation does that based off the code that everyone appears here. I don't know. It's, as, it's the same behavior. This is the EMR release. And mine behaves the same. So I think what I'm doing is close enough. 